Morning Wolf Pack. I'm Jody Guerrero. And I'm Tristan Lloyd. Today is Wednesday, August 26th, and we're here with your morning announcements. A new club is forming on campus. The Classical Strings and Piano Club is open to all students who have played or are currently playing a classical string instrument, such as the violin, cello, bass, or classical piano. Stop by the band room at 3.30 p.m. today to learn more. The first anime club meeting will be Friday, August 28th from 3.15 to 5 p.m. in room HL6. This is Wee's room. If you like anime or just want to check out the club, you are welcome to attend. For any male baseball players, there will be a mandatory meeting today in the multi-purpose room. It is approaching fast. Make sure to get your senior package forms and payments in by September 4th. Uh-oh, I need to get those in. The student senate meeting will take place in the MP room during Wolfpack hour tomorrow. Let's hear from Mr. Murillo about CO Soccer. Hi, I'm uh, Coach Alejandro. Um, I'm the head coach for the men's uh, soccer uh, program uh, at Consumer Soaks High School. Expectations uh, for this year. Well, I think this team is going to be a team to remember, not just uh, because uh, we want to win league and we will league again, but uh, and I think we have a pretty good chances to win sections again for the second time in school history. But this is going to be a team to remember because uh, these kids are going to be an example and a, and a model to follow for other teams. The competition this year is going to be much uh, tougher. This is our second year in this league, but they already know who we are. We won league last year. We had the MVP last year. so. We are the team to beat this year, so that means the kids need to know that they need to step it up and play even harder and better than last year because nobody's going to give anything to us and, and that's going to make it much tougher, but I think we can we can deal with it. So there are actually two standout players for this year. Number one is actually player number 12, which is, which is you, uh, you know? I'm talking about you as friends of my uh, soccer players and you as teachers of my soccer players and parents of my soccer players because with your support my kids will be will do much much better we need that support uh, from the school and my other team obviously is the whole team uh, I always uh, told my kids that what is important is how we play as a team anyways uh, yes you'll be you'll be uh, listening about our team this year, I promise. Let's get some actual wind in California and blow on over to weather. Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Daisy Reese here with your weekly weather update. Tropical Storm Erica formed late Monday night in Central Atlantic and is about 730 miles east of Leeward Island. Erica is expected to gather strength and remain a tropical storm as it moves west. Erica's path and intensity beyond Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands is uncertain and may involve a path near the Bahamas this weekend and possibly parts of the southeast U.S. coast next week. Well, that's all the weather news I have for you today. Back to you, anchors. Thank you, Daisy and Lita. Now here's a look at last week's Kickback with the Pack. Are you having fun? Super! It's really fun here, you know, get to hang out with some friends and eat some food. Yeah. And what are you at right now? Where are you at right now? Um, I'm about to get a henna tattoo thing. What are you going to get? Um, probably a flower. What's that you got there? Uh, a snow cone. What flavor is it? Watermelon, tiger's blood, and cherry. All right, guys, how are you guys doing? Good. Right. Having a lot of fun. How are you doing? I'm doing 
Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Luis Versace out here. Kickback with the Pack was so live. Thank you for everyone who attended the event. ASB put in some work out there, and everyone just enjoyed themselves. I'm going to hand it over to my girl, Yana, right here. Hey, it's your rally director. We had so much fun for everybody who joined. Trouble T, shout out to him. He had this cracking. I think the DJ was really good, and if you didn't come, you missed out. Attention all student drivers, be sure to get your parking permits into the office before Friday, August 28th. Are you interested in going on field trips and competing in challenging events? Having the chance to meet people from all over California and the nation, from peers to professionals that work at places like Google or represent the U.S. and the us in the U.S. Congress? How about earning a graduation cord too? Then FBLA is the club for you. The first FBLA meeting is this Friday, August 28th in room HG2 from 3.30 to 4.30. Did you know that nearly 53 million people currently struggle with hunger in the United States and that around one third of all food produced is wasted? Food is too good to waste. And now at school, you can keep help, help keep food out of landfills and feed the hungry in Environmental Club's food sharing project. During lunch, place your unwanted and unopened food in the cafeteria's food sharing table, which is by the lunch line. If you are hungry, you may also take food items from the table. Only food, foods like milk, juice, fruits, vegetables, and unopened snacks are accepted. Food that is left at the end of the week will be donated to the Elk Grove Food Bank. So remember today at lunch, don't dump, donate. Freshmen, the tailgate is coming up a week from Friday on September 4th. Come out to the quad from 6 to 7.30 p.m. for some food and fun. Stocking, bowling, tug-of-war, darts, life-size tic-tac-toe, steal the bacon. Come get pumped for our first home varsity football game. Come ready to tell your link leader if you want a burger, hot dog, or a veggie burger. Go Wolfpack! If you have any announcements that you would like us to air on Wolfpack TV, please email mrmason at egusd.net. Well, that seems to be all we have for you today. I'm Tristan Lloyd. And I'm Jody Guerrero. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. It's National Dog Day. So should we bark or something? Bark. <laughs>